Hello. Hey. Hello. Is anybody out there? Hey. Hey, is that? Hey, Danny, is that you? What? Is that you, Kit? It's so dark in here. I can't see anything. Oh, I can barely see a thing. It smells like plastic in here. It smells like Sony in here. It smells like Sony. It smells like the sound of when it turns on in here. <laughs> you know? I totally know what you mean. We gotta try to get out of this situation. I want to get out of here. Okay. You, what, do you, what is that? Do you think if you if you try pulling on that, well, what's gonna happen if you do that? I think there's a button. Okay. There's a button on the right. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> yeah. How we're gonna push it from inside? <laughs> we gotta. <laughs> well, there must be some mechanism inside oh, if they yeah, push it from right. outside, yeah, 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 right? Yeah. All right. Go for it. All right. Right. All right. Here we go. Oh my god. Wow, we, we made it. We're free. That's so good for us. I am so glad that I got to see the light of day once again. What were we doing in that PlayStation? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I went to bed in my bed. Yeah. And the next thing I knew, I woke up and I was in that PlayStation. Yeah, wet, same for me, actually. Crazy. So. Well, so, you know, viral marketing these days. <laughs> Maybe we were dreaming, or maybe it was real all along. Oh, yeah. Either we were dreaming or it was real all along. I agree. What do you think? I, I'm, I'm on your side there. I think that's probably what <laughs> Okay. Well, regardless, wherever we are, it is PS1 Wednesdays. So... Like TGI Fridays? Yes. There's a PlayStation there. <laughs> but we're in a big PlayStation and we're playing PlayStation 1 games. We have a couple of games on the docket. Oh, I guess I should introduce who we are. Sure. If you don't know who we are by now, which is doubtful, but whatever. I'm Danny and this is Kit. Hello. And tonight we're streaming... PlayStation 1 games. On the docket, we have... Superstar Dance Club number one hits, which is a really weird game that you showed me a long time ago. Yes. And I'm excited to actually play it because I remember distinctly... Well, before we get into that... We also have... Ape Escape. Ape well. Escape. We're monkeying around tonight. Yeah. We're... Um, let's see is that oh that's a bit more audible hey how about that am I slightly sounds like Kit's audio is coming through Danny's mic that's interesting am I am I okay yep great how do you sound um I don't know you sound good am I too loud now we're still tweaking this setup okay all good now Joe says well great all right. Perfect. I wasn't sure because it looks like it's going in the in the yellow area. I don't know if it's peaking, but well, if if we we will we will hear out our our wise listeners and and they will tell us if there are any further issues. But uh, I love that, and I trust my my fellow viewers. Sorry for the interruption, by the way. But we were you were talking about we're gonna ape out tonight because we got ape escape going on. We got ape escape, which is exciting. Absolutely. Um, I've only played maybe five minutes of that game, so Fuck yes, that's we're both so good. going in pretty. I've played it none amount of time. Played zero amount. Yeah, you're pretty new to it. I also played Metal Gear Solid Three, and there was a little ape escape thing there, so mm. I, I don't know if that counts, but. Regardless, we'll see where the wind takes us, so to speak. Absolutely. In terms of what we play tonight, because we are going to play this Superstar Dance Club number one hits as our sort of intro game. Our appetizer, if you will. The appetizer. And then our entree is Ape Escape. But if we find we have room for dessert, you know, we haven't eaten too much dessert. for the night and we're not like super full. Then, you know, we might play a little Bloody Roar or something. Amazing. We'll Dessert. See. We'll see. We'll see. A strawberry cakey for you and me. 
A strawberry cakey, of which we shall see. What's <clears throat> your favorite dessert? Mine? Yeah. I like a New York cheesecake. I'm a New York girl. You know what I mean? I like that stuff a lot. It reminds me of being in my grandmother's house. But it is also just delicious. Just wonderful. Just, just a great dessert. I like, I like it. I don't know. And the, the, the thing on the bottom, that crumbly kind of crust. Whew, beautiful. How about you? W- what's your situation I with dessert? I love cheesecake. Um, my, favorite che- my favorite cheesecake. My favorite dessert is probably the strawberry shortcake. Which is a classic Beautiful. in many video games. In Super Mario 64. There's a lot of representation for that. Kirby. Mm. It seems pretty popular in um, the country of Japan. But I'm not going to make any generalizations. But in video games, I've seen it a lot. Where these games are from, I think. I actually don't know where Super Superstar Dance Club number one hits is from. This is originally a Japanese game. This is not the original title. This is I, like a ported, uh, localized, etc. Yeah. Right? I don't remember off the top of my head the original title. That's okay. We can research that. I can look it up right now. Yes. That's right. Power of computer. Um, but while I do that, uh, well, no, uh, Ape Escape is also from Japan. And our, des- our secret dessert game is also from Japan as well, which I think is just in some ways, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the wildest... You know, a lot of the really interesting stuff I feel like on the PS1 does uh, come from uh, that side of the pond, as they say. There was a lot, it seemed like there was a lot of encouragement for smaller studios and even independent developers to develop for the PlayStation 1. Yeah. So we did get a lot of um, unique video games that I love a lot. That I, It doesn't seem like... <clears throat> a lot of consoles of the time got the same sort of array of except maybe for the Dreamcast I think is on par with that um, I think the Dreamcast also has some very unique games that we would not see on other consoles I suppose but I don't know if these games were third party developers so to speak so this at least Superstar Dance Club is concerned. Absolutely a, a third party developer. Uh Warashi Wara- Incorporated. Wadashi Incorporated. Uh they were like ex Athena staff. And Athena uh I don't know. I don't know anything about Athena. So that that's what my research pulled up. I could not find an original name for this game. I think it literally is called Superstar Dance Club. And apparently, according to Moby Games, it is a character-based dancing game. So we'll see what that looks like in a second, I suppose, as we, as we get into it. I think maybe it was on the cutting room floor I saw the name. But it doesn't matter because we're here with it now in the form that we know it. And I'm going to have a quick sip of water. Because my mouth is very dry. <laughs> okay, yeah, you, 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 you. I, I might have, in my research, might have completely not heard what you were saying. Uh, if you mentioned the, uh, the cutting room floor, uh, because now that I'm checking it out, uh, yeah, it is also known as Love Para, Lovely Tokyo, Para Para Musume, which is uh, also a really great title, in my opinion. <clears throat> there we go. I. I do love that title as well. Love Para Lovely Tokyo Para Para Musume. I don't know if it's more or less descriptive as to what It the feels game's equitably about. descriptive, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't really tell you much, but that is okay because this is not really a game you play for the story. I will say. <laughs> um as is for a foreboding solemn no it wasn't it wasn't meant to be dire or foreboding it was maybe not dire as much as just ominous (laughs) an omen has been cast over this stream i'm excited to see what you mean though um it's it's not really a story-based game i'll say it's more of a rhythm game that you play because it's kind of fun definitely let's check it out let's check it out 
So here we are now at... Entertain us. Entertain us. Here we are now at Sorry. number one superstar dance club, number one hits. Look at okay. that beautiful screen. Beautiful screen. We should actually... This is going to be really silly, but we should restart this and see if we can get that intro cutscene. Is that going to be too much? Let's not do that. Okay. Let's let's just. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it for anyone. We should go in kind of fresh. You know yeah, sure. I mean? No, for sure, for <clears throat> sure, for sure. That's a great point. Yeah, because doesn't it show game footage? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. So never mind. So, and also I want to preface this with my uh, experience with this game was I owned this game for the PlayStation One, right? And I got it in like I don't know, two thousand two. I don't remember, 2003, in a time where my aunt would take me to Dave and Buster's very often. And I won a lot of tickets and I won enough tickets to get a DDR mat that would plug in. It had like the, the plug for the PS2 controller. What? Wow. And this game, so it was intended- This game came with that? Yeah. In Dave and Buster's, they had this- this masterpiece? Yeah, that's how I know about this game. Wow. And how I played it through my childhood. Put so, on by Dave, put on by Buster. <laughs> shout out to Dave and Buster Damn. separately. But <laughs> basically, I had this game and my parents were excited because they're like, oh, you're going to use the DDR map. That's like exercise. <laughs> Right. Cruel. And a cruel I, parents thesis. <laughs> no, just kidding. Your parents are very sweet. Yes, they're very sweet and supportive. And if they're watching this, shout outs to them. You did good. Um, but if they were thinking that I was going to be using this for exercise, they were sorely mistaken because I quickly abandoned that and used my controller instead, yeah. which is how we're playing tonight. Yeah. Uh, imagine we got, imagine we like got a DDR pad. I never played DDR at all in my whole life. I, I mean, I played like a few times, like a handful of times in an arcade maybe, mm. but I never really played DDR seriously. And I did play with the mat that we got, but I didn't play with it often because it was kind of big and unwieldy. Oh, totally. So I basically just played with the controller for the majority. Um, but we should get a, maybe we can find like a plug and play DDR mat and, you know, we can stream DDR. I'm happy to, I'm happy to dance around on the screen. <laughs> I think that would be a really fun future stream that I really hope that we do. You know what? Hey man, we can always revisit this as well with the DDR One pad. Day. I'm sure this will be, uh, it's no, that's on tape. It's on tape. <laughs> so, oops. But then in middle school, I played this game a lot and like got really obsessed with it and like drew a fan comic about the main character. Who Love you'll that. See. The main character is not in this artwork. This artwork is uh, Just random people. Totally so, stock footage, like stock, not, not in the game at all. Yeah, stark, stark artwork, stock artwork. Stock artwork from a how to draw anime book. And... Uh, <laughs> And we're here, and 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 so you had a you 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 had created some fan work as a kid about the about the main I just the main hero. Really liked this game, and I was very driven by the hero, <laughs> who you will see and meet very shortly. You'll 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 meet her charis you'll understand her charisma quite soon. Yes. You'll know why Danny was so enthralled and enamored. Exactly. Now let's go. Inspired. <laughs> I was very inspired. Yes. New let's game. Rock. Let's, let's new, rock. Let's make a new game. New game. Let's rock. We don't have a load game, so it's new game. It's gotta All be. All right, go for it. Yeah, here we go. I love that wipe. And then we're just met with this incredible song. Joe says, "Yeah, my DDR experience is super limited. Same, unfortunately. Yeah, unless we're all getting more experience tonight." Unless there was a DDR cabinet in your arc local arcade, which it was not very common in the U.S., I feel like. Yeah. It was kind of scattered, but it wasn't super common. But not, also, not in my let us know if the sound is weird or bad or loud or whatever. Yeah. Anyway. Hello, everybody. Hello, Hope everybody. you're doing well. We're playing Superstar Dance Club number one hits. 
I love this game. And it sounds great. I think it sounds great. I love how it sounds. I love her hair. I love her. She's Christian, so there you go. She's definitely wearing a cross. <laughs> um, all right. <clears throat> what, what is this menu? Club, save, and sis. <laughs> and then we have like these cats with flowers. Like what's going on? Down hi, with I'm sis. Hi, I'm Susie. Are you ready to go dancing? Come on, let's go. Right? I like the arrow going up as well. Dancing? I love it too. Um, yeah, I love Susie. I love her look. I love her hair and her eyeshadow matching. <laughs> Yeah, that's um, the same. She got the same tone mm -hmm. in both cases. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. So let's see. Hopefully we... No, you should read it. Sorry. Let's blast through. Hopefully together we can become the dance champions. What do you think? Please, Please input a name. name. I don't know how long this name will be. So let's see. Let's just... Yeah. I love, I love any time a game just forces you to grapple with a, a linear alphabet. Oh, it's so... It's the best. Isn't Just give it? me problems. Can we get a full Minmo in there? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. All right. Let's go. I'm itching. Cool. I'm Minmo itching to is see. a great name. If you're ready, we can head to this the <laughs> car cat star dance club. <laughs> I hope you're ready to dance. Okay. Club I'm cat star. I'm so ready. Chips total, zero G. Chips So is... we have zero grams of chips right now. <laughs> Sorry. Chips is the currency, I think. Oh, it's like knights. It's like blue it's chips. It's like knights, yeah. Or like Wall Street. <laughs> Traders, I guess, blue chips. Poker chips. Poker chips. All right, let's go. Yes, let's look at that guy in the back. Cat star. Cat star. So, at first glance, I have n absolutely no idea how this uh -oh. game works. Oh, I think we I think we lost in the beginning, and that's okay. We'll try again. Oh my God! The jeers, oh, the violent you. jeers. They hate you. They want to kill you on the dance floor. Oh no! She's so sad. She's crying. Let's try and become the superstar dance club <laughs> champion. But we need to practice harder. She's sad. We heard her. I'm so sad. So, the way that this rhythm game works is that you have to press the buttons in time with the game. So it's like circle, 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 circle. Circle, 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 you know. Going but going between those two buttons. Right. N knocking in rhythm with knocking, pressing in rhythm with each uh with each with each button in each sequence. Let's let's try it again. Let's let's jump back in. Yes. She says she says we have to practice harder. We have to practice harder. I'm gonna take a sip of water as well. Joe says, wait, what is happening? And <laughs> yeah, that is also how I felt when I watched slash tried to play this for the first time. I was I, no indication from the UI what it is exactly that you're supposed to be doing no instructions which i love as well it's got that classic 2002 feeling to it it feels like a classic game in that way where i think it expects you to read the manual but maybe i don't I even don't know even Who knows? think that the manual would have helped in this case i'm i would be surprised if it shipped with the manual to be honest i think it remember i think I do remember it having a manual, but it was very thin. It wasn't like a, f like a full manual, you know? Sure. It was like a few pages, so. Let's try this again. Hopefully I can get past. This is like Dark Souls. You it's... die really fast. <laughs> and you have to learn. You have to learn just by throwing yourself at the problem. I'm just hoping we can get past the first level, like for real. Because, like, you think you're supposed to be looking at her. Or, like, them. Like, the dancers in any way. Um, but no, it's just literally... 
You have these two little measures. You just to click in time as it passes from left to right, I guess. Although I don't know if it's always left to right. You have to watch where the arrows are pointing as well. Right, yeah. It'll... right. Oh. Look at the laser effects. Wow. Looks like Kentucky Route Zero. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? I love the two, the twin DJs in the back. It's, oh, wow. Beautiful. And they throw money at you? They, tro they throw chips at you. Oh, those are chips. <laughs> oh, whoops. I, I skipped how many chips we got. Pick them right up off the floor. Oh, she's so happy. Minmo, awesome. Wow, what a great dance. Minmo, we were cool. <laughs> Minmo, we were cool. That's awesome. However, However it was only the beginning. We need to do better. <laughs> we can practice at other clubs. <laughs> I'm glad I'm getting back into the swing of how this game works because I played it a lot. Although I will say, uh, my hand's getting sore already, so oh my I gosh. gotta get back in the swing well, we, of it. We can we can swap on <laughs> and off. If yeah, you want. whenever you wanna. We have two new UI elements. Oh yeah. Oh my God, ring and ghost. That's what right. What emotional, like for you know, wow, ring like wrestling ring and ghost like. Like a, a temple ghost house situation, ghost Spooky. house. Haunted. In theme for October. Yeah, this is technically a horror game. <laughs> it's just really, yeah. it's just really un in there. It's really subtle. Yeah, it's like um, Doki Doki Literature Club. Like there's some stuff, some haunted stuff hidden in like the code of the game. Is that the, is that the actual secret of Doki Doki Liberty? It's not just like it twists know. on you. It's like I you know, the game is cursed. You'll die if you play it. I literally don't know. I've I guess never any game it, is and cursed. And I don't know, so don't tell, don't say that I spoiled anything for you because I didn't know and I don't know. Got it. Understood. But yeah, Powerful. this game is haunted. Don't look it up. We should play Ghost House, right? Please, by all means, October October fifth, we're playing Ghost House. It's spooky season, like they say. I don't say that. I just say that it's fall. People really do say it incessantly, it yeah. seems. It's okay if you say it. I, I'm not judging anyone. Yes, absolutely. I do love this outfit, though. Yeah, I, like, look at these guys. <laughs> it's a scary... It's a scary level. There are some freaky ghosts. We have some lanterns. They have kind of the ghost lights around them. We've got zombies. And they're just like, that's the funniest move a zombie could do, I think, <laughs> as well. It is pretty funny. I oh, love yes. the music, too. Definitely. It strikes me very much as... Like... I don't know, it just... It's, uh... It's... I feel like in rhythm games, it's obviously almost something that you can take for granted that the music will be good. Rather, what I mean is like, it is easy to take it for granted in some way, but yeah. this, wow, S rank, look at you with all those chips. <laughs> you're chip rich. We got chipped out. Q Tom Red says, your mics are so good. Thanks, we're broadcasters now. <laughs> Thank you, Q Tom Red. We... We make music, so we had some mics laying around from our home studio. Yes. Also, I'm sorry you missed Hitman 2, but it is now Superstar Dance Club number one hits for the PS1 for PS1 Wednesdays. PS1 Wednesdays. <clears throat> Starting today, this Wednesday. <laughs> and I hope you enjoy. At least this Wednesday is PS1 Wednesday. This is a hopefully... From now on. From now on. Um, Hitman 2 has changed a lot. You know, it really has changed a lot, though. From Hitman 2, the PlayStation 2 version... To the trilogy. It's crazy. It really is, like, so much more fun to play on the, <laughs> the, uh, the later games, unfortunately. Maybe I haven't gotten in the swing of the PS2 version, but um, it really has changed a lot, and I would say maybe for the better. So. Yeah, I would I would think so as well. Yeah, you can drop your shit just as easily in the new game, and I think that <laughs> honestly, 
I would have wanted it if I had known that it was there in the beginning. I would have wanted it to I continue. don't know why it's such a bad habit of mine to just drop everything I'm holding in a Hitman game, but... It makes for the best old gameplay, habits. Though. I love o it. Old habits die hard. That's true. <laughs> That's what they say. All right, so we have impressed everyone, Minmo. Let's keep going. That's uh -oh. fucking sick. Thanks. I think the um, controller went away for a second. Here, give me that uh, keyboard. Let me get that. Here, uh, yeah, keep trying to... Per hmm. Hmm. Oh. Is that you? That's me. Okay, great. Oh, sorry. I just skipped through a lot of dialogue. That's totally fine. <laughs> wow, we shopped a lot. I got loads of new clothes. How cool do I look now? Mwah? Mwah? <laughs> you look the same, but I love... It's I, great. I trust that she got a nice new pink dress or something. Yeah. Okay. Imagine she's like, do you notice what's different about me? <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> you look... You look happier. <laughs> it's like I'm stressed out. It's for somebody <laughs> person who clearly cares a lot about their appearance. It's like I don't know. I, I don't, don't know. I can't, I can't tell. I don't um, know. Your eye your your the hex code of your hair and eye makeup are especially accurate to each other today. That's all I could think. Maybe it was the same... Uh-oh. <laughs> Maybe it was the same company. I think you might need to click on the screen again. I'm so really? sorry. Really? Really? Let's try it again. Nothing. Yeah, we keep throwing our controller off of out of our window all oh, the time. I got it. So it keeps breaking. We don't know why. We don't know We're playing <laughs> what keeps wrestling happening. ring, <laughs> and I really hope that the wire doesn't come loose and <clears throat> disconnect. No, it'll be a okay. We have we have a couple backups, so we're good. She's all right. <laughs> all right. I would not say that this is maybe. I like the platform sandals, though. I love the platform sandals. Honestly, I do like the look a lot. It's a it's a confident look. That's right. I like how everybody's doing her dance moves. Yeah. You know. Oops. There's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Everybody in the audience is just that one guy from before. That cat's doing squats. <laughs> I know the the cats are freaking out in the background. Yes. Just going absolutely hard. This music is very Italo disco to me, I feel like. Interesting. Kind of what I failed to say maybe earlier was that all of this a little bit reminds me of WarioWare music. Yeah, it does too. Remind me of that as well. Ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna... Uh-oh. Let's see, did we make it? Ooh. Uh oh. They sh Electric shock. Shocked her. Oh, brutal. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thanks for coming out, guys. Oh, We've got tapes in the back. Okay, guys. We got tapes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, my God. Hurts my. Oh, I know, right? Uh <laughs> Joe says, OMG, the sparse claps are brutal. Ooh, and that's how I feel right now. That's how I feel. I feel like her. Doesn't feel good. How could I fail? Shame. My dancing wasn't good enough. I just need to try again. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else. That's all. Killing with Let's... golf claps. Absolutely. Mer I'm sure someone could die that way. An overdose of golf claps I upon think... a heart wrenching performance. Oh, it just hurts you too much. Yeah. Let's go with Space Hero this time. Let's try something different, you know Let's what I mean? Let's try something different, yeah. Okay, okay. I think okay. you'll like it because I think there are aliens. 
Oh, you know I'm gonna like it if there are those grays. I think you're gonna. I love, love this it. just unfinished loading screen, by the way. Just the red bar. It's so simple and great. Oh, I loved her outfit in this one. Oh, this is quite cool. Her outfit is my favorite. Ooh, look at these like Sentai villains. Yeah, they're kind of scary. And yeah. I love it. Wow. Henchmen's minions. Pyrotechnics. Very spacey. This one, this one goes in. Yeah. We're going in and we're going hard. We're going to space. Let's go to space. That snare. Oh. Sorry, I'm probably <laughs> incredibly <laughs> no, distracting. The arpeggiated bass as well is just It's disgusting. really good. Oh, there you go. That's got what we it. call S rank. That's what we call S rank. Hey, we even Only got three coins, three but... Three chips. A rank, I guess. A for awesome. That That really went very hard. Still not over this, uh, this temp loading menu that made it into the final. Look at me, I am so cool. I am the best dancer ever. Even the space hero and aliens want to dance with me. Nothing can stop me now. I'm going to be number one. I believe it. I believe it as well. Look at her. She's gonna, she's, she, she's, she's gonna take over the world. I believe in her enthusiasm. How do how do we get these last uh, two things to unlock? Do you know? We we just gotta keep playing each level. I'll show you. Got it. In a second after I stop saving. Yes, get out of here. <laughs> okay. Um. Make sure to save a lot is what they say. That was in part of the intro that we that you didn't see. They oh, really yeah. stressed saving. See. Oh, now there's we like have levels. Level two, right. Got it. Okay. Yeah, let's try it. So let's try it. Let's see. I can't guarantee that I'll win it because I've been kind of not on my complete game. <laughs> You're a little rusty at Superstar Dance Club. I'm a little Club. rusty, but I think I'm shaking the rust off. I love it. Shake it off. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I ain't making I will. no promises, you know. I can't make promises, but I can try my best. You know, that's that's all we can do. Plus, I get to see more of this cute outfit and these creepy ghosts. Seymour Outfit is your name right now. Seymour <laughs> Outfit. <laughs> Dude, again with the platform, like the platform, um, like thong sandals, flip flops. Yeah. Oh, my God. Love it was it. such a thing in like the late 90s. Are you kidding me? This song is also good. Yeah. Cool arpeggiated bass. Absolutely. I'm telling you, Atala Disco. Yeah, this part definitely feels like Atala Disco. Q Time Red says scary, absolutely. So scary, so spooky for Absol the season. That's right. October. This is a this is a Halloween game. Yeah, that's right. We did this on purpose. That's what I'm trying to say. Can I ask you a question <laughs> that might really ruin things? What's up? What's her name again? Susie. Susie, okay. You know, you, you spend so much time with somebody and you realize you don't even know their name. That's okay. And she's become the world's greatest dancer she under our tutelage. She hasn't really said it much. That's true. She expected us to remember, and you know what? I I don't blame her for that. I respect She remembered that. our name, though, so we That's... should feel a little bad. Right. <laughs> right. That's right. She said our name five times. All right, I'm a little scared. You did it. Oh. Oh, what interesting. Huh? Huh, we lose? They hate us? No, we got it. I like the cat ah. ghost. 
The cat ghost? Oh, the cat yeah, ghost? look at them. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay. Yeah. Minmo, gosh, that was tiring. But we made it through. I am so glad that we survived. It was easily the toughest dance so far. I wonder if the dances get harder from now on. What do you think? I think that's a safe bet, Susie. Yeah. You know what? I gotta say, you know what's funny? Hmm. Um, you don't have a store or anything to use the chips. So you just you just build so them you up? just accrue it. That's so good. So yeah, Q-Time Red says you're rich, and it's like... Right, but what do you do with it? Nothing. Can't do nothing with it. And ain't that ain't that just like our life, you know? <laughs> ain't that just like all all human life? That's right. Money only money only goes so far. No, that's not true. There a lot of people's <laughs> lives could be changed by a, money, a scarily small amount of money. Unfortunately, money is a very real material thing that Absolutely. we need. Absolutely. But we're not here to talk about that. No, no we're politics. We're here to maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we're here to maybe get through the wrestling ring, but I'm also wing also wing. Also wondering when we should maybe switch over to Ape Escape. I'm down to switch over to Ape Escape at any time. I think this was good. I think this was a nice run through. Does anybody want to see one more just like run? Anybody interested in that? Or are we, or are we wanting to move to Ape Escape? I'm, I'm down to chill and chat for a bit while we decide. But uh, Q Tom Red says every now and then Susie announces run stop shopping, I guess. And yeah. Yeah. I you actually, know, d you know, I don't even think that depletes the chips total. I don't know. That's I've never really <sighs> paid attention to that. Someone should mod it in where it does. Because <laughs> then it would answer. It's like, one more tune. Yeah, let's do one more tune. Q Tom Red, which one weren't you here for? Did you did you join in midway? Did, did you see club? I don't think we can do... Let's do level two ring. Let's try ring. Eh, yeah, let's do ring. Did we fail ring before? I failed ring and got electrocuted, but we will try right. one more time and see if we get closer. That's right. It's life or death for Susie. It's either become the greatest dancer in the world in a bikini or get electrocuted in front of a million people. That's hard. I like the audience as well. It's the same guy like a thousand times. Yeah. I, I love it. I love how passive her dances are as well. They're really like quite chilled out. Yeah. It's a lot of just kind of like choreographed rhythmic movement, which I guess <laughs> is just what dance is. Hey, let's dance. But uh, it's pretty light dance. But not maybe maybe I don't, I don't mean to diminish this kind of dance in any way. <laughs> how dare you? I know. But uh, it's just a lot of arm movements. It's it's accessible. It's an accessible form of dance, I'll say, in a way that hopefully indicates that I'm not being judgmental about it. And hopefully imparts that meaning. But I'm glad that someone could become the world's greatest dancer just based on this alone in some ways. Me too. You know. And here we go. Ah. Uh, bonesed. Bones defied. Yeah, don't even, yeah. Save us from that pain. That painful clap. It hurts. It hurts. Almost. Well, maybe next time. I know I can dance better than this. Ready to try it again? <laughs> no, actually, sorry. I'm Susie. sorry, Susie. We will try again another day. But yeah. today, we're going to move on. She says that and it's like... Oh, Susie. Oh. <laughs> Joe, Joe says, I hate it when I get electrocuted because I didn't dance good. I fucking completely agree. I can't. I know, it's it. the worst. Q Tom Red says, traumatic. I also agree with So it. true. I don't want to see somebody's bones. It's traumatic for both of us. <laughs> me having to watch it is traumatizing for me. All right. It's totally self centered character. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's change the screen. So yes. I can swap out the game. Good idea. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna switch uh, into like a you can't hear Sushius mode for a sec, but we'll be right back. BRB. Real BRB. Quick. BRB screen.
Hey, it worked. Hello. And we get to watch the intro. Whoa. Don't you love these scan lines? You're kind of like a Shadow the Hedgehog monkey. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Is this uh, selected? Ape Escape? Yes. Okay. Welcome to Ape Escape. We are going to escape the apes. <clears throat> We're going to escape them. Or rather, them. they're not going to escape from us. Ooh, could you turn mine down a little too? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Also, let us know if the volume is too loud at any point. Yes. Um. Welcome to Ape Escape. We have not played this game, but we've heard great things about it. So, yes. <laughs> shout out to my friend George from high school who definitely recommended this game and I haven't played it really until now. So, and it's been a while since high school, so sorry George, but we're doing it. So, let's jump right in. We're going to jump. We're going to jump right in. We're gonna and we're going to do it. Q Tom Red says, I like the satanic upside down scrolling up top of the scene from before, I think. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes. I made it in After Effects like a couple days before the stream. So <laughs> I appreciate you recognizing that. I think you did a great job. Joe also said, LMAO I did too. Thank you, Joe. We're all enjoying it. We all love it. I, I agree. I appreciate you. Everyone watching, thank you. Hey, Spike. Did the professor finish the time station yet? What? Are we gonna get to go back in time? He said he'd be finished with it today. Let's go. Oh. I can't wait to check out the dinosaurs. And what about the future? Yeah, we'll keep talking because I'm going first. That's not fair. I can't I wait can't... to check out the dinosaurs. <laughs> and what about the future? He says. <laughs> and um, again, foreboding <laughs> ominous. Spike, Jake, over here, watch out. Spike, the time station. Wow. Shadow no, the Hedgehog no. monkey. Run, you two. Dark this monkey, monkey, don't touch that. You're going to destroy <laughs> no. it. No. Oh. Arning. No. Beautiful. Beautiful graphics. Sorry, I'm screaming into the mic. <laughs> That's okay. Wow. 
Wow. I'm sorry. My god. <laughs> Whoa! Which one is you and which one is me? <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question. Are you sh Spike or whatever the other guy's name is? It actually works. <laughs> we did it, Natalie. We did it. <laughs> the time station is complete. We don't have time for celebrating. We've got to do something. I love it. Didn't Soichi Tirada do music for this? Yes, Soichi oh. Tirada. Incredible musician. Oh, here he is. Soundtrack. Spike, can you hear me? You must listen carefully. Something awful has happened. There's been an accident. The time station has been activated by Spectre and you're being transported back in time. Spectre. You'll soon arrive in the lost land when dinosaurs roam the earth. Spectre has sent the apes back in time to try to change the course of history. Is he a New Yorker? His plans for world domination have begun. And if we don't stop the apes, history will be changed forever. You're our only chance. Two of my gadget inventions, the Stun Club and the Time Net, were also caught in the transport. I can't tell. I want you to use them to catch the apes and send them back here. The Stun Club can be used to defend yourself against attackers. Hmm. When you use it on the apes, they'll be stunned. And you'll have an extra second to catch them with the Time Net. Hmm. There isn't time for any monkey business, Spike. Our fate is in your hands. We're depending on you. Be careful. No monkey business. Joey says, hello, Danny. Hello, Joey. I have not played the Spice Girls PS1 game, but I did watch a long time ago a video of the Game Grumps play the Spice Girls oh, PS1 God. game. Uh, I'm not proud to say, but you know. <laughs> hey, man, we all, we all, we all been there. We all been there. All right. Tilt the right stick and swing the st stun club in any direction. Beat the enemies by swinging and turning the stun club around. You can also make the monkeys fall down. Are we going to be shocking the monkey? Like Peter Gabe, Peter Gabriel style? Big PG style? I think we are. Don't you know you gotta shock the monkey? <laughs> Soichi Tirada remix. All right, um, press the R1 button to jump. Swing the stun club with the right stick. Joey Jump says, oh, with sorry. the R1 button. Good luck. Joey says, the Spice Girls game was so horrible. Haha. -ha. What it was, <laughs> what was bad? What is, what is, what's about it? What's the deal with it? If you don't mind expounding, Joey, I'd love to, we'd love to talk about it. It looks kind of like it was yeah, kind of generic from what I saw. Mm. Whoa. Something this can definitely be me. bad for its generic. It, it was DDR, but no dance pad. Yeah, that is what we, uh, <laughs> that is, that is pretty much what we just played. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, but Superstar Dance Club is good, actually. Superstar Dance Club it does is it, it has it has a certain fit and finish that is quite quite lovable. But DDR no dance pad that's brutal. That's brutal. Oh. And they're British? No, just kidding. <laughs> and they're Tories. And they're Tories, yeah. That is just true. Dude, we're shocking the monkeys, right? Gotcha. Whoa. First one got it. And take that to the bank, okay? Oh, the game is still set to Superstar Dance Club, so if I had the ability to change that, I would. Oh, yes. If you want to pass me your computer, maybe we can do that. I can do double layered laptop. We're doing double layer laptop. Edit stream info, I think, is right there. Sounds good. I'll just keep it on this side. Let's look at gadget. We got Stun Club, Club Our Enemies, and we can do it for a 360 attack. So I think this is a. From what I can surmise from the need of the uh, analog sticks and kind of the general quality of the game, that this might be a little bit of a later PS1 title. Um, so This is definitely post-DualShock stick, so this is one of the first things that I think yeah, justified exactly. the existence for a lot of people of the DualShock, from what I understand. Right, because right, it needs it. <clears throat> so, there you go. I remember my grandma got me this game at a trial, but I didn't have an analog stick controller, so it didn't work. Oh, Ooh. that sucks. Brutal. Uh, that is just uh, absolute gut wrencher. I feel like I've been there plenty of times. Yeah, of just being like, cool, this is like something that I can almost maybe use if I, in a year when I when I get the, you know, the, the, the whatever. Gotcha. The funds, the capacity. For the longest time, I really wanted to emulate uh, Mario Paint for the SNES. 
Mm. But like there was no way to like emulate the controller that you needed for it for some reason. Mm. So I couldn't do it for a long time. But recently I did it and I streamed it. Ah, uh, that we should. Oh, that's awesome. I don't so, think I saw that stream. Uh, I got to get up on my lore. <laughs> get up on the lore. I know. I'm going to be like, <laughs> hey, Danny, you should play this. The DL and you're lore. like, uh, I played that already. Look at this beautiful desk here, this milieu. Look at that. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't press anything. Oh, it just said goodbye on its yeah. own. Yeah. But also listen to that music. Beautiful Soichi Tirada. This guy's head is on the floor. That's him. That's his own custom head. Hello. Customized floor. Jumping on it. How, how does it feel? It feels, feels snappy. Right. Yeah, it feels okay. It feels a little sticky. But for a PS1 game, honestly, it could feel a lot worse. Oh, I for will sure. Say. This is within five years of Bubsy 3D, right? Yeah, I think Absolutely so. could be way Definitely, worse. For sure. Welcome to the time station. Everything here will help you with your mission. This room is the warp room. In front of you, the round switch will take you to the stage select area. I don't know why it's so hard for me to read. Behind okay. you, the red switch will take you to the load save data area. You also, hey, no pressure. No pressure to read it. It's all do, good. Do you want to read it? No, no, I mean, we, we can we can read it or not. Depend, it depends on uh, depends on our, on our on our on our whims. You are free to read it. I'd be happy to hear you continue. It to took read. so much <laughs> brain power to read that that I didn't actually like comprehend any of the information. That happens. That happens. So, but I think this is where I want to go anyway. So it's beautiful. Fine. Primordial ooze. I love this menu as well. Just I incredible. So much great text. Gadget. Looks like Mega Check Man it Legends. It does. Looks like this slightly. It looks great. It looks great. With an oxygen it looks like I'm mushier Mega Man Legends. Right yeah. Try it out in the training room. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. Well, good luck and be careful. What is this? This is something that apparently will allegedly will help you engage with underwater areas. Oh no! I don't want to do underwater shit. <laughs> I, I think I think this is oh yeah well you can exit. No, I'm kidding. Everybody come everybody everybody hates that underwater stuff. I I feel like if it was zero gravity, people would like it. You know what I mean? I feel like people just I don't know. Maybe what do you think? You know what I mean? In your opinion, wait let me. If read the this graphics again. oh yeah. yeah. Uh right, it can be pushed like a button to dive down. Press it in. And stop pressing it, and you'll swim back toward the surface. Tilt it away to go forward. Okay. okay. That's pretty intuitive. It's just clicking down and going down. Makes sense. That is very interesting. I will say. If only it had a thumb loop where you could pull it up as yeah. a, as an action. That would be that would be something. Okay. Uh, how do I get up? There we go. There you go. I forgot what button to jump. Launch the net. You said there's a monkey in the pool. Well, why did you put him in there? Why'd you let him get in there? Why did you let him get in there? Oh, my bad. Oh, I see. Gotcha. All right. That's cool. Oh, I'm supposed to go there. <laughs> doctor that. doctor something doctor something here's the exit you passed don't forget that you can swim fast by pressing the r1 button ah yes and you can use the water net anytime in the water okay have fun have fun with that whatever gramps whatever <laughs> mailbox later. i like that kind of parallel oh look at this menu with this rainbow i know it's so good warning capture four monkeys All look right. at these fucking little guys, man. The health discs Let's look like go! Maria biscuits, which mm. are like these, I think, Cuban cookies that I used to see a lot in Miami. Interesting. What did they taste like? Did you ever eat them? Yeah, they were kind of like vanilla-y. <laughs> I 
I love it. It's kind of a just kind of a, a standard vanilla cracker. Yeah. Kind of biscuit. Yeah, kind of biscuit. Do you know what the Do you know what you're supposed to eat them with, or do you just kind of eat them with coffee, or or or? or I think you could eat them with coffee for sure. Oh, got that monkey! All right. If you jump, jump up onto a tree, you can climb up and down using the left stick. You're not afraid of heights, right? <laughs> Look at the gradients on the top and bottom of this. I know that's really wonderful. Yeah. Reminds me of like mail. Yeah, it is very. Uh, it's like post. Yeah, exactly. It's like like post. Bjork's trim Bjork on her post. jacket. Exactly. The new the new Bjork post is that is that. <laughs> No. Bjork posted? The new Bjork. Yeah, when Bjork <laughs> posts for, again, <laughs> the new Bjork post. Anyway. So I can do a double jump. That's cool. Have you read the new Bjork post today? Yeah. Really interesting article. I guess I don't need to stun it. I can just hit it with the thing and I can collect the monkey that way. That's beautiful. Because I don't want to have to hit the monkey. You don't want to have to hit it too hard. I just want to grab it. I just want to take it and grab it and have it and stop it from fucking up the time stream. We're in the ancient past, right? This is like the primordial o ooze ocean, it said? This is like... Yeah, that's right. Dinosaur's I time. I mean, yeah, dinosaur's time. I don't know if it's uh, primordial ooze time. Fungus time. What's that thing down there? Is that a mollusk? Is that an ancient mollusk? I don't know, but it gave me some Doritos. Give me golden Doritos, so I don't Ow. mind. Oh. Ancestor of the Octorok, I guess. <laughs> yeah, right. In another another world. Video game ancestor. Oh, and those are Triforce charts. Oh yeah. This is like this was originally a uh, supposed to be a Zelda game. Uh, it was originally pitched as a Zelda game, uh, <laughs> but then when the pitch people realized that they accidentally were pitching to PlayStation instead of Nintendo, they. Uh, uh, it ended up working out. They liked it anyway. Honestly, I could see this being a Nintendo game. Kind of reminds me of like Yokai Watch or something. Is Although that a, this came yeah. first, obviously. Yeah, it has that similar kind of flair um, and attention to detail. I think. I think that is a very detailed one of those games. Definitely. You know, Pokemon like or whatever. Although this is not really. <gasps> I love how they drop banana sprites like that. That's yeah, I, li I love the two. Oh no! Wow, you fell off a mountain in the primordial jungle. God, why? <laughs> you fell off a mountain in the primordial jungle. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever will I do? Whatever shall you do? Why? Oh why? Oh why? Let's see if you can kill that monkey. Oh my god. <laughs> no. I'm not trying to kill You're it. You're just gonna grab him. I'm just grabbing. I love their little helmets. All right, you made me do it. <laughs> you made me do that, okay? I wanted it to be peaceful. I didn't make, I didn't do anything. I'm just sitting here with my hands folded. <laughs> I'm just sitting here reading the chat. Any, everybody in the chat can, can attest. That's right. <laughs> Whatever. Not gonna make. I know the everyone's chat on my side. Me. Not gonna. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I had no chance. Are you kidding? <laughs> You're, this chat. This chat. My house. You're in my house right now. That's uh. <laughs> <laughs> We're both on the lease. So it's, <laughs> it's technically wrong. Where do I go? I think that's the main question. I found three monkeys. I think you have to go and find um, one of the monkeys that escaped through time. <laughs> and I think there's one left. Oh, look at all those items you can get. You can get a lot of items in this game. Did you know that you can take cover by pushing the left stick in? Oh, that's a really important mechanic, is the fact that this is a stealth game. Right. Now it makes sense that there's a... Uh... There's a little thing in Metal Gear Solid. You know what I mean? Right. You have to hold it down and crawl. That's lame. That's a little. That's a little much. It's a little much. Ooh. I'm going in the water. How do you shoot that thing again? Uh. Oh shoot. Maybe same button as the other one. Hopefully. No. Oh. 
Where am I? Oh my goodness. I thought oh. it was square, but... And you have like a... Oh, I have to press... What? What is it? R3, I think. R3. Just gotta... Yes! Yes! Yeah! We missed the big golden beautiful coin area down there, but I kind of feel like it doesn't matter. I feel like it's not going to matter. You know? It's I feel like fine. it'll be fine. What we can... I feel like this game is very much on replay value. Yeah, for sure. So we are encouraged to replay that and get those things we, again. We know it's there, you know, at this yeah, point. Yeah, we know it's there. So we can go and, and, and grab it whenever we want. I'm going to save because hmm. it's always good to save. Especially when the save area is such a cool kiosk that you can engage with. Yeah, I do love the, uh, oh, the monkey that. book. That you're inside the sphere. Yeah, I love that. And it's that. just kind of twisting around you. It's a little... It's a little disorienting, but I love it. It's like the end level. <laughs> Shay, just chilling. His speed, his attack... Wondering... Oh, <laughs> Dr. Monk is wondering when lunch is. <laughs> That's me. Dude, I'm... Oh my god, such like same. Dr. Monk. Oh my god, I'm Tomorrow. just... That's gonna be me tomorrow at work. Mm. Oh. Ooh, am I right? Mm. Oh. Work. Mm. When's lunch? Grunt. Grunt. Enjoying the view. Just enjoying the view. That's also me at work when I'm enjoying the view of my computer screen when I don't have any work to do. <laughs> yeah. Gorniff. I love that name. Sleeps underwater. That All right. That sound All safe. Right. I cannot... Look out. I cannot encourage that. Look out, buddy. We will find more monkeys soon. I'm excited. Noonan has helmet hair problems. Understandable. Who doesn't? Understandable. Um, Georgie, Georgie wants to watch wrestling. Wants to watch yeah. wrestling. Understood. I feel that, yeah. Not the... Dance to loud music. Love I that about that. her. You know? I love that. And there we go. And that's fine. That's our little monkey book so monkeys. far. They all have a little monkey fact. You know, I love that about this okay. game. I, I love the style of this game so much. I think... I didn't really appreciate it when I was younger, but now I appreciate it so much. It's quite inspiring in terms of like what to do in terms of making a game. Look at those, look at that Yeah, text. look at that, the and, texture and wow. like the text that's moving. The return and enter buttons remind me of like, like something you'd see in like Stardew Valley. Like it's very modern yes, feeling. Definitely, definitely. It's very interesting. It's, it's, it's funny to see what things stay, the kind of, this kind of pixelization of of the buttons is kind right. of still remained in a certain right. way. Still, people will just make stuff that looks like that. But I love that. You know, on screen UI elements, etc. Like it looks great. It's very beautiful. Let's play another stage or two. Yeah. Let's get those monkeys back home. Let's get those monkeys back home. It's for their own good. It's what I like to believe. Same. Lost Island Molten Lava. And then look at these buttons that enter stage and return. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're not hand-drawn, but they're yeah. like these cool... I don't know. I just love how this game looks. It's Absolutely. Really nice. And sounds also. There's seven. Look at that wireframe of that little guy. Over. I love it. <laughs> Monkey Identified. Dude, it's wild that they got Soichi on that. Let's go! Soichi on that beat. You're surrounded by a steep cliff. If you fall off, you're finished. That means dead. Be careful on the edge of the cliff. Use the D-pad or L2 button to move the camera. Check out your surroundings. Let's go. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's a rookie mistake. You know I wouldn't do that. I'm a fucking pro. Far too seasoned of a gamer. To, I'm uh, too pro for that. You that's... know I wouldn't do that. I'm too pro. Ah. <laughs> oh, almost pro dropped gamer. that. Pro gamer. But I didn't because I'm a pro. Yeah. The triangular chips scattered around are called energy chips. You'll live longer if you gather a hundred of these. It's like Doritos. You gather a hundred in your mouth and you live longer or something. I don't know. It's a lazy joke and I'm sorry. 
You live shorter if you gather 100 Doritos in your mouth. Yes. I will also argue as well. That's the irony. The true irony. That's the joke. The irony. I appreciate it. Thank you. Something that I love about the about the Doritos that they give you are that they are gold plated. You know, you know? I love that too. Is like. I would have preferred some Doritos on a gold plate. You know what I mean? I would have preferred them to be gold plated in that way so I can eat them. Because in this case, if I try to eat them, I just get a mouthful of mouthful of gold. <clears throat> you know, edible gold, it's not good. It's not tasty. I'm I tired not of the imagine. gimmick. Yeah. So have you have you eaten edible gold? Has that ever crossed your, your lips? You, no. You've consumed it? No, and I don't plan on it. I agree with you, though, that on principle, it's like, what the fuck are we doing here? You know what I mean? Like, why, why like are we doing that? It's always so expensive, and I would rather spend my money on food that tastes good. If sure. If it's expensive, I prefer it's because it tastes good and not because it is an edible, precious metal. But isn't it that thing, though, that you, you... I feel like you've also espoused this claim. This this truth. I will not even call it a claim, but it's the truth. The, the, the reality that a lot of the best food is fucking just cheap. It's just like a guy in like a weird half of a building between two bigger buildings. Yeah. And he just is like makes the best soup in like the uh, on the seaboard that you're on. Right. You know what I mean? It's like a local place, a small, you know, hole in the wall, quote unquote place, a place that's been there for a long time. Right. Um a lot of these things that kind of point to this place being like really good or like you know, uh, even like a taco truck or like something like that. Right. Like but rarely a, is it so truck. expensive. Right. It's usually accessible local food, you know, something that's been like long established, I think. And stood the test of time in a certain way. Right. And is not too complicated or pretentious in a way, you know. Sure. I, I guess I, I just like the simplicity because I have eaten at some quote unquote nice restaurants. And sure. I've enjoyed meals at other places more. Yeah. Maybe that's just me. Also, maybe I just have cheap tastes, <laughs> which I think is fine. That's fine. That is definitely fine. I mean, I think there. I think. You're gonna give me one of these. In there this is game? room. <laughs> there is room for art. <laughs> just didn't even see the stairs. There is room for art food. I think. Yeah, but that's it, fine. It's a little weird when it's like this specific invocation of class. No politics, but when it's the specific <laughs> invocation of class, this idea of like, you know, eating gold, it's like, again, right, like, like a complete a... misuse of something that, or, I mean, I guess it's like, I don't know, it, it just, it's, it just feels increasingly like not really valid as like an artistic well, statement right. within it food. it feels kind of, um... Because it's like, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? What's, Why are you doing the, what's the word? Like very, like a flagrant display of wealth. Oh yeah, it's it's like wasteful. Totally, I think I think you say it right there, just that it's a flagrant disp uh, display of yeah, well, kind of you insensitive, know. you know. Definitely, it just feels gross. It has yeah. that kind of gross feeling to it, um, and I'm sure it literally tastes gross because it's fucking metal. It's just metal. It's just like. I mean, I'm sure it tastes like nothing actually. Probably probably doesn't. I'm sure really it doesn't anything. taste like anything either. But who knows? We should go and eat something with gold on it. No, we shouldn't because I don't want to. I even think I've spend seen it like in. I don't know where, but like at a food place, place right that here? sells food. Uh, I don't remember. This monkey's got eggshells situation. This monkey's walking under eggshells, huh? Gotcha. Ballard, B Ballardian, dystopian, conspic conspicuous, conspicuous it's, consumption. Exactly, a, 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 a complete it's example close. of conspicuous. That's consumption. close, but it's that's not the word. No, Q time it's right like, contributing though, and we appreciate. I appreciate that. that yes. And Ballardian is if you you know you what? saw a bunch of gold and it was destroyed, and you went <laughs> JG Ballard. Right. Ballardian. I think that's who we're talking about, right? You mean JG, my man JG? I only know the I only know Crash. So that's that's my problem. I should look into that more. What were you gonna say? I don't remember. <laughs> but that's okay. Good. Let's let's move on. Let's the go. Uh, the this T Rex is very aggressive, but he, this T Rex is very aggressive, and he won't be hurt by your weapons. Hit the T Rex and run to the rocks. When the T Rex runs after you, jump out of the way. It feels like reading a book for a kid. It really does. Yeah. You know, and that's gonna make me not do that again. I think. <laughs> 
but if he hits he hard enough, it. if he hits head hard enough, if he hits his head hard enough, the T Rex might just drop that monkey. You know you got to drop that monkey. You know. I love that. I love the fact that that song fits in so well with this game. We are literally shocking the monkey. Shock the monkey, get hurt, monkey. Monkey. Is that what the line is? Shock the monkey, get hurt, monkey? Yeah. Yeah. Good old Peter. Pete. Pete speaking the truth. Peter Pete. the angel, Gabriel, as they say. <laughs> as Kate said. So long ago. So long ago on her Christmas special. I'm not I'm not messing with that T-Rex right now. Oh, never mind. I got it. You got it. I got it. You got to confront him. His, your club will not hurt him is one of the things mentioned. How, how are we going to fucking get this guy, though? I guess maybe we could just... Okay. There we go. Oh! We're going to have to, like, net the monkey midair? I'm kind of just, like, questioning even if this game can do that, if that makes sense. Let me read the thing again. We read it. We both read it, and I even read it out loud, but I don't remember it. So he's going to charge us. So we just to make sure we're standing on one of those corners. And if he hits his head hard enough, he might just drop them. Okay, I see. So we just got to keep trying. Yeah, we're just going to... This, this might have us here forever. Or we might figure it out in a second. And that's the fun of these streams, is you never, you never quite know, do you? Oh! I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, let's go! Let's get it, come on! Oh! Ooh, let's, let's get it. Let's not burn to death. Alright, let's see. Are you hyping yourself up? Let's go, yeah. let's get it, come on! I tried. Okay. Keep it, uh... Yeah, yeah, like... Yeah. So it's like, okay, I think I think the monkey's headlamp is indicating yellow, which means almost... almost off. Almost falling off. Let's see, did he come off now? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, there he is. Beautiful. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Yes. Did you like my scream? <laughs> I didn't really like that. I, I felt it. I, I, I so resonated with it that I just completely took it for granted. Because I would have done it if you didn't. You know what I mean? Like, it would have been... It was going to come from either one of us. I, I, I felt... I empathized with it. Thank you. Apparently I did great, so that makes me feel good. She always says that though. No, I think you did do great. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not I'm not trying to fish for compliments, but <laughs> No, but I think you did great. But she always says that, but I think you did great. <laughs> My god, thank you. <laughs> Alright, overwrite that. Yeah, let's Fuck continue. It. I want to read more about these monkeys. Yeah, let's see who got else we got. Ones. Trying to run through them. Let's see who, who we got. Coco. Coco can Indian handstand stand for, for days. days. Wonderful. Jay Thomas. <laughs> He's coming out of his shell. Jay Thomas. Congrats. He's like Kickstarter backer. <laughs> yeah. Names. Barney, Barney cannot, cannot get, get down. He, yeah. He needs help. He needed help. Maddie. Could be Dino's next meal. <laughs> He's you know, we all... Back in that, back at that time, we all could have been dinosaurs. <laughs> I know it was scary for everyone. Yeah, but his attack was slightly higher, so I'm glad that I didn't get hit by him. Beautiful. I was too quick. And that's it. And two, three tombstones. Oh my God. They died out in the field. They are not dead. They're off on the farm upstate. They're getting eaten. They're <laughs> getting eaten by farmers, Appalachian no, farmers upstate. No. So scary. I know that is scary, huh? <laughs> Alright, let's do one more and then call it a night. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm, mysterious age. I do not mean to malign any Appalachian farmers watching. I... Anyway. There are good and bad people of every sort. And <laughs> it's true. There are plenty of good Appalachian farmers out there. We know it. So, But the ones who are eating these ape escape monkeys, these apes, Here's a monkey don't do that. It'll help you track those monkeys down. I'm sending the new gadget over to you. Hey, right we now. got something Try that helps us. Training Without training, yeah. it's too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. Well, good luck and You're going to make me do training again? Oh no. Oh, oh my god. god. Dude, the apes are escaping. There it's time is like the essence. The monkey radar is a gadget for finding monkeys. Turn the radar by rotating the right stick. The sound changes when the radar detects the direction of a monkey. The closer you are to the monkey, the louder the sound oh, I can't will get. Wait. You can find them easily by rotating the right stick. We already knew that. I could find them easily by looking around with my eyes. <laughs> Q time red says too late. Yeah, I've already they're coming for us. They're gonna they're gonna get us. Use the radar to find the monkey in the boxes, the exit will when you find three. And and they would they they would be right. Don't open a box without a monkey, or you'll have to start over. Listen to the radar sound. That's not as bad of a sound as it could be, I think. Yeah, it's pretty chill for like a radar. Well, I found three monkeys, so it's time for me to leave. Get me out of here. To use the monkey radar, press the start button and then the triangle to go to the gadget select screen. It's set up each gadget to use them. Oh my god. Okay, so it's just like <laughs> a menu, I guess. Yeah, it's just another kind of another so, step. You are now on your way to the mysterious time of the jungle ruins. You must navigate through thick jungles <laughs> filled with beasts never seen before. Go on to explore the temple ruins, but be very careful. The temple is laden with treacherous pathways and dark dungeons. Oh yes, and you may have already noticed one thing. The apes have varying fields of vision, so in most cases <clears throat> you can sneak up on them by crawling around rather sneak than on running ape. after them. You sneak on ape. noticed as quickly as you remain low to the ground. You'll discover many great things on your journey, but try to stay focused. You must locate all of the apes. Every second that passes gives Spectre a chance to succeed. We're counting on you. All right, Doc. Whatever you say, Doc. Whatever you say, Doc. Uh oh, we got emo monkey. Hello, we got. Professor. Remember me? It's me, Spectre. Tetsuo? Leader of the new age. <laughs> That's right. Apes will soon rule the world, just as it should have been from the beginning. Oh my God. Spectre, Ape what's, Mewtwo. What's going on here? What are you planning to do? Spectre, oh yes. You're the monkey that performs at the amusement park. <laughs> what? He's that cute little monkey that everyone loves to come and see? But how? Yes, that's Celebrity. Right. I stumbled onto this incredible invention of yours. This peak point helmet. And it's given me remarkable knowledge and great powers. And now, I plan to rule the world. Why did he make that? I owe it to <laughs> yeah. Professor. Hmm. Monkey-shaped intelligence helmet. <laughs> full of evil. I hope the monkey-shaped intelligence helmet doesn't fall in the hands of <laughs> an evil monkey. A cute celebrity monkey that everybody loves. It is still incomplete. <laughs> it's never been tested and may be very dangerous to use. I advise, no, I insist that you bring the people. You got to do training. Back to me <laughs> bring it back. Fuck your training, old man. You I'm God. I'm sorry, Professor, but it's too late. My I've God. Made duplicate helmets for my new army of eight. There's no stopping oh, this now. Oh, oh. The scanner style. <laughs> yeah, total scanners moment. Don't try and trick me into giving this helmet back, Professor. I'm smarter than you. I even figured out how to use the time station. I've already sent my armies back in time to rewrite history. <laughs> no longer will humans be the dominant species. Oh I will God. rule this world. Don't bother trying to stop me. <laughs> Don't bother. 
I believe it. Spike will find you. Just wait, you'll see. We're not gonna stand around and let you take over. Yeah, Spike? fuck you, dude. Have a runt? He doesn't scare me. I've got a surprise for him. Jake. 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 <laughs> I've always wanted to go up against you. Now here's my chance. I'm gonna have a great what? time destroying you and showing you who's the real hero. How could Jake say that? What's happening? What's I hope that they. I hope that. Do you realize what you're saying? Do you imagine it's like it amplifies to? your real Snap heart. Out of it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it's actually. He's not. That's what he really. That's thinks. how he really does feel inside. Yeah. Somehow he's been brainwashed and he's being controlled by Spectre. Brainwashed. That's right, Professor. You're very perceptive. Mm, that's right, Professor. You're very perceptive. Mm, very perceptive. You're very perceptive. Oh my Perce God. Perceptive. No, no one can stop me, especially not you. It's so well, good. Go now, but I'm sure we'll be talking again yeah, I love this. It's so on. good that this game didn't come out during Tumblr. Oh yeah, so that people. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that there is a contingency of people, a a a, 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 a union, a labor union of people making fan art of that guy. They're out there somewhere. I just know it. Oh, a dark, a dark shadow passed over me. Pl pretty normal plot here, says Q Tom Radio. Yep. Yeah, sounds pretty normal. Yep. Let's go. Let's go. Pretty run of the mill. This is your your James Cameron. You know your your Steven Spielberg. Uh, your Steven Soderbergh. Your David Cronenberg. Your David Cronenberg. Yeah. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to Gadget and I'm gonna <laughs> just collect my monkey. Game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should, honestly. I it should, is gonna be that time. The, yeah. <laughs> what was it? Based on the way this game is treating me, it's like. Yeah, nice. Oh my god. Oh yeah, there you go. Freaking monkey go. Get out of here! I love those. It's so 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 freaky. Those big pitcher plants. Yeah, they're interesting. They feel true to life. Rust-colored pitcher plant, full of a monkey. Full of monkey. In this day and age. <gasps> In this day and age, monkey punch you and you fall on the ground. <laughs> In this day and age, they they hurt you hard. Monkey hurt you and they fall. Oops. What did that say? Hmm. Locate a monkey and then switch to monkey camera with L2. Watch the monkeys in action. There are limits to the L2 monkey camera. If the monkeys are too far away, you may not be able to watch them. Mayo. What? George leveled. Oh my god. With the gun? Seriously on the lookout. Yeah. Machine gun? That's pretty good. Look at his. Look at his. Dare I say Homestuck glasses? Oh no, don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's actually Don't you dare. The inverse. I'm sure the Homestuck glasses are based on the Ape Escape. Yeah, I think that's glasses. probably what it is. Where are we going? Yeah, what is happening? You found a secluded glen. To just relax. Don't worry about it. I found it. a crazy monkey in a UFO. Yeah, that monkey just went away in a UFO. Okay. Hmm. 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 Suspicious. Maybe I have to sneak up on it or something. I don't think I... I mean, maybe you get like a slingshot or something, but... You might have to... I mean, it... it, it I wonder if it was like wants to make you leave and come back and crouch your way over to the thing like that would really suck yeah that'd be pretty it's like early enough to account for the dual shock camera controls or whatever but late enough or rather late enough to do that but early enough to not really understand uh that people prefer crouching to toggle Right. Rather than basically you have to hold down as you move the stick around. Although, I don't know, would that have been easier with a more domed, you know, the big fat, du you know, DualShock 1? 
Tuesday. I, yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry. I I'm focusing on getting this monkey. I'm I'm completely just waxing. <laughs> About yeah, DualShock? About the DualShock. No worries at all. That's okay. Focus on those monkeys. Oh, I'm climbing a tree. Climb that yeah. dang tree. Well, where can I go from here is the question. I guess I can look. But... Oh, yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Take a look at that. Hey, take a look at that. Wow, and then just a whole fucking area just fades in. That was quite an interesting clip. This guy's gonna fucking kill us. I think I gotta go this way. Beautiful jumping dive. It looks very good, this game. It does. <clears throat> Whoa. Whoa! Oh, guys! Oh, what are we gonna uh, do? What are we gonna do, guys? Whoa! Put in the chat that we're gonna- <laughs> Oh god, what is this? The rivers are dangerous because a strange fish lives here. All right. <clears throat> Full respect. That's asked and answered. Oh, there he is. I love how he's just like already knows you're coming. Oh my god. This is hard. Yeah, what is it doing? Are you having to r rotate? I have like... to like rotate and paddle. Oh, you're literally rotating the 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 dual sticks. Yeah, like the longer you keep it, like kind of rotated. Interesting. Whoa! Oh, oh my god! Oh god! Oops! How'd you like swimming fast with the R1 button? That water net can sure go fast, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, Just I making guess small so. talk to me about that? Yeah, I don't want small talk right now. If it's not normal, I'm in I the mean, middle if it's of... not important. I don't know if you know the title of the game, but Ape Escape. So, we can't talk. Oh, the Ocarina of Time Fish. I love the Ocarina of Time <laughs> Fish. <laughs> Again. This originally pitches a Zelda game. Just total misinformation that I'm starting right now. Which means di it actually has disinformation. And this is my campaign. <laughs> to do it. How dare you. How dare you spread misinformation about this game. I gotta be honest. Yeah. I'm, s I'm a little stumped. <laughs> Well, I will say that it is, uh, it is 8.39 p.m. So we can, we can call it for now as well. We can, we can consider ourselves stumped. Return to this at another time. I think that's a good idea. I think we should return to Ape Escape perhaps maybe next Wednesday or the Wednesday after. Give I everything so. a fair chance. You know what I mean? Um, but it's been a good time. I've learned a lot. We've made a lot of friends. We've learned a lot of lessons. We've shed a lot of tears. We've shocked a lot of monkey. We shot. We shocked a lot of monkey, and we made a lot of dance. <laughs> we did a lot of dances, and that I'm I'm proud of, and I'm happy that we did that together. Yeah, I agree. Um, hopefully, nobody closes the lid on us again. You know, I would really, it would really ruin my day if someone closed the PS1 lit. Oh my god! Did someone seriously close the lid on us? I can't believe somebody closed the lid. It's so dark again in here. Oh, so dark. And I can't see anything. I can't, I can barely even hear myself in here. I can't even hear myself over this. Over this, the darkness. Anyway, Hope you guys have a good rest of your night. Have a good night, everyone. See you on and Sunday, maybe. See you on Sunday. Perhaps we will see you soon. Hopefully. Stay hopefully. <laughs> yes. Hopefully we can get out of here until oh. then. Hopefully we will get out of here and we'll stream on Sunday with you Sunday night. Good night and stay fresh. Good night, everybody. Stay fresh. See you.